Hey, what is going on guys? It's Nine back again talking about some Valorant. And today we're going to be talking about some potentially very exciting news, even though it might not seem like it on the surface. We're talking about a team potentially leaving VCT, but considering that it's EG we're talking about who might be leaving, this is good news for me, baby, because I have been preying on the downfall of this team for pretty much the last six months. Um, One, I hate Demon 1. Two, EG beat Loud at Champions. Three, EG won champions, and four, and most importantly, EG are a horrible esports organization, and I want them out of VCT, and it looks like we actually might be heading in that direction. New reports have come out that Evil Geniuses want to dismiss all their rosters and exit esports by the end of 2023. Now, this comes off the heels of them very recently, I believe it was at World Finals, they announced that they are stepping out of the LCS, which is the League of Legends Championship Series in North America. And now the LCS, um, along with EG and Golden Guardians leaving, the LCS is now dropping to eight teams instead of 10 with those two teams leaving. Now, this makes complete sense if you follow EG in League of Legends at all. They have ran that organization into the ground in the last two years, uh, mostly due to their CEO being the self-proclaimed Warren Buffett of esports, but we're not going to get too deep into that. But honestly, I am just really happy. <laughs> I know that sounds horrible to say, but it's the honest truth, man. It's the honest truth. But yeah, for sure, just speaking on the LCS situation a little bit, this was completely necessary and I wished Riot kind of did it sooner. They terminated their team player agreement with Evil Geniuses very recently and it's been well documented the things that have been going wrong with the League of Legends team for EG over the last like two years, especially with the way they treated one of their superstar players not being equipped to deal with his mental health struggles and putting him in some really tough and terrible situations that no young up and coming 17, 18 year old esports player should go about if you want to learn about that you can google it you can go search the whole timeline yourself but it was really just a lack of competence and a lot of negligence that led to this player who was super young he was like 17 18 retiring from league of legends when he was the top 80 carry in north america for a while and so looking at that whole situation and looking at what they've been doing in Valorant, I'm really hoping that they do actually leave Valorant and we can leave VCT in a better spot because of it. Now, of course, for the most part, what was happening with the org up until Champions was, I think, fine. They weren't doing anything egregious yet. And it really was until after they won Champions that everything went terrible. Okay, so... Let's look at it. EG, they win champions. All right. Awesome. Great for them. Woohoo. Yeah. But now they're saying going into 2024, they tell their players, hey guys, you guys, you know, you're world champions. You guys want to stick together? Yeah, you probably want to do that, right? All right. You guys can stick together, but only if you take 50% pay cuts. Yeah. And now, of course, as a player on EG, you're like, what the hell? Of course, we want to stay together. We're a world championship team. Who knows? We might win two, three trophies next year. We're the best team in Valorant. Of course, we'd want to stay together. But then you got to also look after yourself and you're like, bro, I'm a world champion. I should not be taking 50% pay cuts. Is that crazy? I should go somewhere where I am valued and compensated as such. And I would agree. But the problem now is EG knows this. So while these players have tried to look for options elsewhere, EG has essentially put them in contract jail, not allowing them to leave because they're not accepting the very high bids that are being placed on these players. We've seen their players like Ethan and Bustio get really big bids like from teams such as 100 Thieves for over 100k they're willing to buy out some of these player contracts but EG are like yo these are world championship players we're gonna need a little bit more moolah than that you know what I'm saying? so it's put the players in a really weird spot because i understand they'd want to stay because they're a 
awesome team together but at the same time they don't want to take these huge pay cuts and now they're trying to look out elsewhere but the team is kind of forcing them to stay together because hey you want our players you got to be willing to give up 100k 150 200k i'm not exactly sure how much eg really wants for these players but they're trying to juice them out for everything they got and so that's just put the players in a really tough spot and of course, over the course of the whole year, you can just see that this team is not ran like a proper tier one esports org. They've had very bare bones social media presence with majority of their tweets getting well under 100 likes for the majority of the Valorant season. Their YouTube channel struggles to get views more than mine. And honestly, it's been hilarious looking at some of their tweets over the years because there was that entire span throughout the year where they basically copy and paste did the same Christmas template on all their game day posts. Like, just look at this. Look at this. This is hilarious. And quite possibly the highlight of my year was what they did right after champions which was the merch they released you know when a team wins a championship they like to capitalize on it monetarily by creating merch or creating content that makes sense so people expected championship merch from eg but what we got was so incredibly funny man like i would genuinely buy this merch if i still could dude i mean just look at it just look at it man this is the merch they're releasing it's just a box with the five players with the most boring font and their logo it like has like the most minimal design ever and it's not in a good way like in a cool minimalistic way it's literally just the most basic PNG of EG Valorant plastered on a shirt. Like this is just hilarious. And even if you scroll through their merch shop, you would find tons of merch just like this. Like they unironically have a shirt that has a basic font just saying 10th fan or Potter Supremacy. That's the merch they're selling. And this is a tier one organization. So honestly, I've just like, it's just been a mess watching EG do their thing these last six months. But them leaving esports entirely kind of puts Riot in a weird spot because they did have that entire guard situation before where people were upset they weren't including the guard because of some weird issues and conflicts with the rules but now i guess all is well because they were planning to just play with 10 teams anyway they weren't gonna put the guard in unless you know all the people rioted and that's what we did we rioted on social media and that's how the guard got their spot in the league as g2 the thing is some people would want a hey, you know it's gonna leave these players in a really bad spot because the season is coming up pretty soon and if these players can't find a spot and then their org leaves like we can have five world championship players playing in tier two next year or as substitutes or like just not on a team entirely so it really will leave the players in a bad spot concerning what we know so far there definitely just isn't any time for Riot to find a replacement in the allotted time like the way they did have time to find G2. Even around the G2 time, they were already saying, oh, we don't have much time. We're not sure if we can do this, but they did manage to do it. But now it's been a couple months since then. There definitely wouldn't be time for them to find a suitable replacement. It definitely sucks if you're a fan of EG and you love these players and wanted to see them, you know, thrive into this upcoming season. But for me, it ain't really a problem because I was never riding with them to begin with. But yeah, that's basically the EG situation, guys. What do you think about it? Uh, should Riot remove EG or is EG looking to remove themselves? It looks like they don't even want to be here. Um, what are all your thoughts and comments? below leave them down i'll read them i'll react to them and i'll see you in the next one